So I'm going to say, let's put this in here and I'm going to say uh, QuickBooks did, did not find. So I'm going to set it up and I'm going to make this time a service item. I'm going to imagine it's not an inventory thing that we have to track. It's just going to be a service subscription of some kind. And so I'm going to say this is going to be item uh, unearned revenue. And I'm going to put at the end month one, month one. And I'm going to copy that and we'll just do five months. So I'm going to say, okay, because I think that's what we did before. So I'll put that here. And then I'm going to pull out the trusty calculator. And I think we said before it was, we were doing 175 is what we've been charging divided by five. That gives us $35. So let's charge it out at $35 uh, a month. And then we're going to say it's going to go to my new account. So I'm going to say it's going to be a five unearned revenue account which is going to be a new income account allowing us or helping us to track what we're doing setting it up so it's going to be the account name i said five account name unearned revenue month one that's what i wanted to say okay save it there it is so i think that's right okay let's save it and then i'm going to do this again and this time I'm going to copy and paste the same thing, but month two. So I'm going to make a new item for five months. So tab, same thing, same setup service item, month number two, $35. It's going into five unearned revenue, same thing, but month number two service item. So I'm going to say, okay, this will help us populate it to the purchase order and then to the invoice. So I'm going to say, okay, and let's do it again two more times it's tedious but this is tedious i don't like this repetitive no this is good practice tab we're going to say yes and service item down here number three 35 35 dollars number five number five tab and we'll save that one and then we'll do it ultra vase dos more times two more times dos mas <laughs> we're gonna say yes and then tab and then down here this is gonna be 35 number five and then one more time one more time number five copy that I'm gonna copy that bam yes and service number five 35 and number five okay so there we have it and let's save it so so now it's going to add up to that total of 188.56 which i think is the total we've been working with with our prior practice problem models but now it's broken out on a month by month uh breakout so i'm going to say all right this isn't going to record anything so what's this going to do from a from a journal entry standpoint nothing it's just like our other transaction our prior practice problems over here nothing's happening i'm going to try to get a full screen all right so nothing's happening thus far let's save it and close it we can check it out in my customer balance not there in the customer center where my customers hang out they're over here i have every all dates selected and there's my estimate has been made so the next thing that we would do we had our we had our estimate we're going to go to the sales order you would only have a sales order here if you were uh in, like in the enterprise version generally and if you didn't have a sales order you, you would go basically from the estimate possibly if you're collecting the deposit to the received payment but we're going to make the sales order also an internal document so i'm going to go to the customer center and i would go into the estimate and say okay they finalized that one so let's make a sales order from it and it says the estimate has been copied to the sales order great mui b to the n b n and so there it is. Let's make this as of 0702027. 0702027. And everything's been pulled in here. Once again, nothing's happening from a journal entry standpoint. What's happening? Nada. Nothing. It's just basically an internal documentation. And so we're going to go. Uh, so let's save it and close it. And so now we've got the sales order and the estimate. So sales order and estimate. So if I go to my homepage, sales order estimate, we don't have to go up to get inventory. We don't have any inventory. Instead, we're going to get the payment. We could record an invoice, but if we did so, then we would be recording, we would be recording the revenue 
at this point when we received it, but we haven't actually delivered the software or the newspaper or the magazine or whatever we're supposed to give them. Therefore, we're gonna go to this receive payment and this usually creates a negative receivable like we saw in the last scenario, but this time we turned on the preferences to make it uh, do the new, the new thing, unearned revenue positive liability account. How did we do that? Edit dropdown, preferences, preferences down here. And then we went into the payments and company preferences. If you don't have this thing over here, then you might not have access to the prepayments, but it should be here if you have access to it. And then it would say receive customer prepayments on sales order, prepayment settings. Let's go into the prepayment settings. We turned it on with this button, record prepayment as a liability. We selected the liability account. I'd like to select a different liability account this time because I'm gonna call it unearned revenue with this scenario as opposed to customer deposit because that's usually the terminology you do with a subscription model. So I'm gonna say new one, let's call it unearned revenue. You didn't earn that revenue. You didn't earn that revenue, save it save it okay and then we're gonna say uh okay and then we can then uh go back to our uh our customer center customer center and i can make i usually would make it from the sales order go into the receive payment so we're in the sales order we're going to go to the receive payments and if you didn't have it turned on already then and you had access to that feature QuickBooks might ask you to turn on the feature because it's saying, hey, you're doing something funny. You're going out of order. So you won't be able to make the change to this prepayment once you apply it to an invoice. So we have to be careful. We might be able to still delete it, but we can't change it once we do it. So we're going to be careful. Be careful. It looks like the same payment form, which usually decreases accounts receivable, but it's different because it says prepayment, which means it's not going to decrease the accounts receivable, but rather it's going to be increase in the liability that we assigned in this case that 